The Miracle Barrel is back in 2016, and we're going to check out the changes and what's new with this little wonder in this episode of Airsoftology Reviews. So if you flash back on the channel, actually a few years, I did a review on the original Magic Box Miracle Barrel and kind of went over the features and what my experiences were. Well, flash forward to 2016, and now the new version's out. So this being an upgraded barrel, it's 6.06 .06 millimeters. Now, I kind of is contrary to what you would think. Most upgraded barrels are either gonna be really what they call wide bore, so much larger, like 6.10, or even more like 6.24, I've even seen. And those really tend to be good for HPA players, or type bore barrels, which is what most people hear. Like, I wanna upgrade my barrel with a type bore barrel. And those are typically like 602, 603, 601, even 6.00. So the Miracle Barrel is actually just slightly bigger than a stock barrel, considering that most stock barrels these days are either 603 or 604 millimeters on the inner diameter. That means the size that's inside of this little tube. So what makes the Miracle Barrel unique, it's not just necessarily that 606 size, because there's a lot of barrels out there that are just different sizes that claim to give you better accuracy and range. But the Miracle Barrel, it's not just about range, even though they do claim on the box that it's gonna get you 65 meter shots out there. And that's a long way, but still very doable. What the difference is between this barrel and other barrels are kind of two little things. One, it does give you a little flatter trajectory, I found. Now, I went from a standard barrel that came with my Crytac LVOA, and I swapped it out for an M4 length, which is just this one right here, into it, and nothing else. I used the standard bucking, I used standard everything in it at a Got game. It. I actually Come used a GI Water Wars event just to see how it would do, because then I had a chance already to use the gun in its stock form. What I found was my groupings got tight and that's really what I noticed at range when I was shooting at a target without having those deviations as things kind of widened out and again I'm kind of exaggerating here with how wide my hands are but the groupings were much tighter so when I was aiming at a target and pulling that trigger the BB was staying more true for a longer distance what makes that possible is right here pretty much aside from the size itself the actual 6.06 .06, it's this little like kind of chamber they've built for your hop-up you'll install your hop-up bucking over top of this but at the very bottom you'll notice this little small little silver patch with some grooves in it. What happens is when that BB goes in, when it actually loads into your barrel before the air burst comes out and that BB goes flying down the barrel out to your opponent, this is little groove keeps that BB centered on your nub. So if your nub's installed correctly pushing down, this little groove's there at the bottom, it's going to send the BB down the barrel, give it the opportunity to fly straighter out of the gate and rather than have a little deviation at the bottom. So like I said, it rides that little rail. Also between this version and the previous version, they extended that patch so it's a little bit longer to work with so it had just a little bit more time to keep that straight trajectory before it leaves the barrel. Also, they do give you a little O-ring here, which is nice. It helps stabilize it as it sits, uh, mates between your hop-up bucking and hop -up chamber and the actual outer barrel of your gun. And I would do recommend too, you do have a couple notches here at the end, maybe picking up a couple extra O-rings to put them in here just to really further stabilize this. Something I personally did, and I think that might've assisted a little bit in limiting the vibrations of your inner barrel to your outer barrel. So I know that's a lot of technical jargon and stuff about a stainless steel barrel here, but guys, it really did seem to help. I don't think it was a placebo effect. I know sometimes it's like, well, is this kind of like, I put a new barrel in, it just seems like it's shooting better. To be honest, I really did. So guys, if you want to kind of tune up your gun, give it a shot and try something a little different on the tight bore barrels, or this one's slightly wide bore, I guess, at 606, definitely take a look at the Miracle Barrel by Magic Box. And they have it in a bunch of different links. And of course, you guys want to check it out. As always, I have links to all the different sizes down in the description below. As always, thanks for tuning in. If you're not currently a subscriber, click on the logo in the bottom right or in the description and you'll always be in the know. Plus, if you like what you saw in this video and want to learn more, I've got a link down there as well. And if you haven't had your airsoft fix just yet, click in the videos on the right or use the info button at the top of the screen for more. And as the saying goes, everyone has an opinion and I do want to hear yours. So give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this video, comment and share.